Yes, you are alive. You want me to sing that today? It will be wonderful. Okay. Goswami Astikam. Krishna Kirtana Dhananda Chana Paro Thank 
सरसिम व्यासम तथो जय मुठिर Bhagavatam canto 10 chapter number 59 the killing of the demon nara text number 38 and 39 and the thing in for man han dai 10 pi 59 chapter thai ji hai sa si wa mo naraka 38 chapter thai ji hai sa si Gadvasurendra bhavanam Dadvaditya-ichakundale Pujita-sridashendrinna Mahendranya-chasapriya Chodito Varya Yopatya Panjatam Panjatam Garutmati Panjatam Garutmati Aropya Aropya Sandram Vibhudan Aropya Sandram Vibhudan Nirjito Penayat Puram Nirjito Penayat Puram Gatva Surendra Bhavanam Gatva Surendra Bhavanam Dadva Ditya Chakundale Dadva Ditya Chakundale Pujitas Trida Sendri Rena Pujita Sendri Rena Mahendranyacha Sapriya Mahendranyacha Sapriya Chodito Bariya Yopatya Chodito Bariya Yopatya Panjatam Garutman Mati Aropya Sandram Vipudan Arupya Sandram Vipudan Nirjito Panayat Puram Nirjito Panayat Puram Gadva Surendra Bhavanam Gadva Surendra Bhavanam Dadva Dityai Chakundale Dadva Dityai Chakundale Ujjita-sridha sendrena Mahendranyachasapriya Jodito Bariya Yodpatya Parijatam Gurutmati Nirjito Panayat Puram Nirjito Panayat 
歸還母親阿爹哋他的耳環。現在我聽聽妻子在那裡崇拜了 Krishna， 我聽中我的伴去沙拉布瑪。之後在沙拉布瑪要求下，主年間拔起天堂的 p r o j e c t o r 樹，便將它放在教會的背上。出世在擊敗煙座，所有半神人後，帶著 Parijata 回到他的都城。Text number twenty. Once planted, the Parijata tree beautified the garden of Queen Satyabhama's palace. Bees followed the tree all the way from heaven, greedy for its fragrance and sweet sap. 四十篇經文，佢將佢樹被種下，立的美化了沙拉布瑪皇后王宮宮殿的花園，蜜蜂貪戀這樹的芬香和甘美的汁液，汁液從天堂一路追隨而來。Forty-one， 四十一節。Even after Indra had bowed down to Lord Achyuta, touched his feet with the tips of his crown, and begged the Lord to fulfil his desire. That exalted demigod, having achieved his purpose, chose to fight with the supreme lord. What ignorance there is among the gods! To hell with their opulence. 四十一節英文，即使 Indra 向主阿春才頂拜，用他皇冠嘅頂端觸碰他的蓮花足，並祈求主滿足他的願望。那位尊貴的半神人一旦實現了自己的願望，就選擇同至尊主作戰。即使在神子中也存在着多少的愚昧啊，讓他們的富裕見鬼去搏。Purport: It is well known that material wealth and power tend to produce arrogance, and thus an opulent life can often be the royal road to hell. 要子。眾所周知，物質嘅財富同埋力量傾向於產生傲慢，因此一種富裕的生活經常是導向地獄的通途。Shri Chaitanya Mano Bistam Skapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Bandeham Shri Guru Shri Yadapada Kamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sya Shri Rupam Sarajatam Sahagana Radhanatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sarvaitam Sarvajutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakanitam Sajam He Krishna Karana Sindhu Dhinna Bandhu Jagatvate Gopesha Gopika Kanda Radha Kanda Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gorange Radhe Vrindava Neshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Varevacha Parhitanam Kalanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Nama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Ajwaita Gadadhar Shri Vasati Gaur Bhatta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama So we're hearing how Lord Krishna killed the demon Narakasur and uh, took away uh, took away all the wealth of Narakasur. Na Narakasura had taken the 
earrings from Mother Aditi, the mother of the demigods. So when Lord Krishna killed the demon Narakasura, then Bhumi, the deity of the earth, who is the mother of Narakasura, brought the earrings and returned them to Lord Krishna. So then Lord Krishna wanted to return these earrings to Mother Aditi, so he brought them to heaven to give them to Mother Aditi. And he went to heaven, he went there with Satyabhama. Satyabhama had been accompanying Lord Krishna, and when he had killed Narakasura at that time, Satyabhama had also been there. And in fact, he said Satyabhama told Krishna to kill that person, Narakasura. So then, Krishna and Satyabhama, riding on the back of Garuda, went to Indra's place in the heavenly planets to And when they went there, then Mother Satyabhama, she desired to have this Parijata tree. Previously, Rukmini had been given a Parijata flower. So Satyabhama was envious that this Rukmini, she's got this Parijata flower, it's so fragrant, I don't have one, I want one. You know, we're always influenced by what other people have. Oh, she's got a mobile phone. I want one. Oh, oh, she's got a nice apartment. I want a nice apartment. Oh, she's got a husband. I want a husband. Oh, she's got children. I want children. Oh, oh we, we always want to, if somebody's got something, we think, oh, why did they have it? I should have it. So even among Krishna's wives, this uh, phenomenon is there. So Rukmini had the Parijata flower, which was attracting the, even the swans from the heavenly planet. So Krishna said, don't worry, I will get you a whole tree. So when he went to Indra to give back the earrings, then Indra accepted the earrings and he worshipped Krishna. Because he knows Krishna is his Supreme Lord. So, uh, Indra worshipped Krishna, but then when Krishna took the Parijata tree, then Indra got angry. Then he began to fight with Krishna. But you can't take this Parijata tree, this belongs here in heaven. This is our tree. You see, this is a material illusion. We're thinking this belongs to me. So even for somebody like Indra, when he was the king of heaven, he was in this illusion. And when Krishna comes to take something away from him, then Krishna comes to take something away. This money you give Krishna. Yeah. Krishna take Krishna comes to take it. Then they want no, it's ours, it's not yours, you can't take it. And so 
So Indra didn't understand that Krishna is the supreme proprietor. One, there's one person over everyone, even over Indra, and that is Krishna. In the Brahma Samhita, Indra is mentioned. Right? You know the verse? Yes, Yes, uh, everyone is suffering and enjoying the results of their past activities. Everyone from Indra, the king of heaven, down to Indra Gopa, the tiniest germ. And so Indra is the king of heaven, but he is also enjoying and suffering due to his past karma. And, and he becomes forgetful about his actual position as a servant of Krishna. And why does he forget? Because he's so he's got so much opulence. He's uh, the king of heaven, he's got beautiful women all waiting on him and serving him. And because he's residing in the heavenly planets, he's very opulent, there's so much comfort, so much sense gratification. So it's when there's a lot of comfort and material sense gratification, then it's very difficult to remember Krishna. The more we have comfort and opulence, then the, we more we become attached to the body, we become attached to all of these. We have to, we have to, we have to practice austerity in order to purify ourselves. Material opulence is, is temporary, it has a beginning, it has, will come to an end. You can't take, you can't have this opulence, you can't live, you take this opulence with you when you leave the body. So Lord Chaitanya said, in Shikshastika prayers, nada namna janamna sundarim. I don't desire wealth, I don't want followers, I don't want to enjoy the Lord Chaitanya prays, I only want devotional service, birth after birth. And similarly in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says, Boga Ishwarya Prasaptanam Thaya Parita Chaitasam Vaya Vasayatmika Buddhi Samadona Vidyate. In the minds of those who are attached to material opulence and sense gratification, the resolute determination for devotional service does not take place. So it's not that you, you have to give up all your material opulence, but what is important is you should not be attached to it. We have to be willing to accept sometimes some hardships. <coughs> so in the purport here they mention that uh, too much opulence and comfort is the royal road to hell. Jiva Goswami said, Raja Putra Charan Jiva. Let the king's son better live forever. 
Because the king's son is the son of a rich man, right? He's rich, he's got wealth, he's got power, anything, he can do anything he wants. Nobody will, nobody's going to correct him. So, better he does not die. Because when he dies, he will go to hell. Because he did so much nonsense. So, uh, therefore, and we, and we see this here with Indra, that because Indra is the king of heaven, he's forgetful, he's thinking that Krishna, what, what right is, he should not come here and take our tree. They have just been worshipping Krishna. So, so sometimes people worship, they worship someone, it's very superficial. But they, they don't actually understand the real position of Lord Krishna. <coughs> And when Lord Krishna comes to take something, then we complain, hey, why are you taking that? So, opulence is a very dangerous thing. We have to handle it very carefully. We have to know how to use it all for the service of Krishna. So Indra, because he's in this position, because he's in that position, the king of heaven, he's surrounded with so much opulence. So it makes it very difficult to remember. You have to be very careful. So, uh, we, we see in the material world how people are so much attached to wealth, they, they work, work so hard, they have such a strong desire to get money. They don't realize the danger that if they get that money, then it's going to be, their, their position is going to be worse. Because the material wealth will cause them to do so many sinful activities. <laughs> you get money and then you do when you then you want sense gratification. <laughs> so the Veda has explained four different goals of life. So there is Dharma, Artha, Kam Moksha. Right? Religiosity, material religiosity, then that material religiosity makes people pious and it brings some material development. Where, where people are more dharmic and religious, then they will get more economic development. And with, but the problem is with economic development, then there's more sense gratification. So people are meant to become frustrated and disappointed with sense gratification, and then they think about liberation. So the Vedas describe these four things. But the problem is people forget about moksha. They, they just simply think only about artha and kama. All the political programs, all the governments in the world, they're all thinking about economic development and sense gratification. Nobody's thinking about how to liberate the people. 
And we see how when the first uh, people went from Europe, when they first went from Europe, when they went to places in, uh, in, like in the America and the South America and these places like that, they brought with them their religious beliefs. And they, they, they would establish their churches. And the churches were like the cent became like the center of a town or a center of a city even. You see in big cities and towns, you see in the center there would be a big church, a big but nowadays what you find is hotels and banks. And you know, the whole situation, the whole mood of the pe people has changed. Because people are getting economic development, they want more sense gratitude. And the, the plan, the very plan is that people will become disappointed in trying to get sense gratification. They will realize it's hopeless. But most people, for most people, they never give up trying for sense gratification. They will try more and more and more. Even though they fail again and again, they keep trying. So they never think about liberation. <coughs> they only think, they think, oh, that sense gratification didn't work, I'll try some other sense gratification. So this is a position even in the higher planets. Even for somebody like Indra becomes forgetful of his position. Lord Krishna has to correct him. Lord Krishna has to rectify him. He has to correct him. See, in, uh, we see how dangerous it is there for to accept opulence or to take some big position. Mm. Becoming a demigod is so dangerous. It's so surprising for the second time. It's so surprising being a demigod in the mode of goodness. But second time he's forgotten, even after having worshipped Lord Krishna, that he's forgotten that he's a supreme personality of Godhead. How can I stop him from taking the bridge of the tree? First time when, when he was a kid, Lord Krishna was a kid in Ravana Dam for stopping the rain. That's the first time Lord Indra had come down. Mm -hmm. And this is the second time then that he's yeah, surprising. Right. So it's not just one time. Okay, yeah, we see that, that how you 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 forget and then you're reminded and then you forget again. Just like we told again and again, we're not the body, but still we try to enjoy the body. So this conditioning is very deep, very thick, very heavy to remove. Just like your mother will tell the child, don't do it, the child, but the child will do it again and again and again. And so you see also that Indra making this mistake, as Yogita said previously, Indra had uh, made the mistake by trying to destroy all Vrindavan and kill all the cows. And 
So you should have learned this lesson that time. But here again, Krishna has come there with such a bhama and he's taking a parajala tree from heaven and Indra is getting really upset. Our material attachments are very strong. And you know, Indra is just one tree, he's got other trees. It's not like it's only there's only one tree, there are many other trees there in the heavenly planets. Of course, this Parajana tree was a very special tree, very fragrant. And Indra is very attached. So this material attachment, this is the problem. Previously, when Krishna stopped the Indra Yajna, Indra's pride was the problem. But here again, it's also pride which is the, the cause of this. Because Indra's illusion is he's thinking this belongs to me, it's mine. So this is pride. So Krishna comes to rectify these qualities in his devotees. So Krishna has a is a devotee. He's a devotee. He's done a lot of pious activities to get that position as Indra. But he's not a pure devotee. He's a conditioned soul still. But he had some good karma. That's how he could get the position of Indra. So although he had some good karma, we could see also he had some bad karma also. And he tried to fight with Indra. Fight with Krishna. Try to stop Krishna from taking that parajana. So, so ungrateful, how ungrateful we can be. Krishna is so kindly come there to bring back the earrings. And Indra had come to personally ask Krishna to do that. Indra knew he couldn't deal with the demon He knew the demon was too powerful for him. So he asked Krishna to do it. Ah, so Krishna did it and brought back the earring. But because he's taking the parajata tree, Indra is upset. So how careful you have to be in the material world. You have to always remember Krishna and never forget. Because as soon as we forget Krishna, we're thinking mine, we're thinking this is mine. So Krishna has come to rectify this quality in And without Krishna's mercy there, then Indra is just going to, you know, he's going to be an illusion, he's going to go to hell. He's just going to have the demonic quality, the quality of the demon is to be attached and proud and possessive. This is mine, this belongs to me. So Krishna is establishing that the real 
position, his real position, he wants Indra to know. And he wants to also please his wife, Satyabhama. Okay, any questions? Yes, Prabhu. Indra saw that when he was here, when he got tried to kill all the bridge basi people, when Krishna picked up the Govardhan hill, that time Indra saw that Krishna was the supreme lord. So to, so to Chandra's questioning, how is it possible that Indra could forget again? Years later, when Krishna came there to heaven to bring back the earrings, why is Indra fighting with Krishna? Well, that is the conditioning, the nature of conditioning that, you know, we, we remember, so, oh, we, 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 we get good instruction, but then we forget again. Just like we learn, we're told again and again, I'm not, we're not the body, we're not the body, but we haven't realized it. So Indra saw that Krishna and Braja was a, the, the Supreme Lord. But then he went back to heaven and he's surrounded by opulence and he's being worshipped and everything. And then, so he forgot again. So when Krishna came there, although he, he worshipped Krishna when he brought the earrings, when Krishna took the tree, he fought with them. So this, this shows how, how, how easy it is to fall into illusion when you have some opulence. Because Indra was the king of heaven and he had so much power and wealth. But he should not have been proud of it. So, Krishna, when he fought with Krishna, this was actually an offense on his part. Of course, Krishna defeated Indra. Well, demigods are in the mode of goodness, but they're not pure goodness. So, so it means they can often fall into passion and ignorance. Because that's the nature of the modes. And sometimes passion and ignorance So sometimes it happens that Indra becomes forgetful. Just like Indra sometimes becomes very lusty. So 
but that's no good news. Leave out my secret, okay? Second, I'm going to give you ask this. As Shadanya Mahaprabhu was down here, he told all of us chant is the best way to purify, to go back home to Godhead. Yeah. Would the demigods also know about our zikro? It would also apply to them, right? Well, the demigods also want to take birth here for the Kali Yuga to chant. Because they know this is easy as the best time. So the demigods are waiting in line to take birth. And on this, on this planet, in this Hare Krishna movement. <laughs> so, because it's so easy for them to go back to God. So some devotees say, I have to, I'm going to make a lot of money, I'm going to use it to serve Krishna. So what should we say to them? Should we, what is it? They say, yeah, well, it's not so easy to make money. And often, somebody may make a lot of money, they forget Krishna. <coughs> and what, what is a lot of money? They, they say, oh, the, oh, no, I haven't got enough money, I need more money. One man said he made a million, he said, I can't wait to make another million. One million is not enough. The important thing is to do service for Krishna. Money, if Krishna gives the money, Krishna, Krishna can give money. If, if sometimes Krishna gives, sometimes Krishna takes. We have to surrender to Krishna. Money will come, money will go. Yeah. Prabhupada didn't worry about money. Prabhupada just wanted to, to preach Krishna consciousness. And when money came, then we can use it for Krishna. And when there's no money, there's no problem. But when the money comes, then all the problems come. How to use it, how, how to spend it, people come and steal it and take it. You know, so many things happen. So, yeah. people want to make money, okay, it's all right. People want to make money for Krishna, but the important thing is to be Krishna conscious. If they're only money conscious, that's no good. We want to become Krishna conscious. To work, work hard all day, all your life to make money, that's no good. If you work all day, every day, or you spend your whole life just trying to make money, that's no good. Good to give money, but still we don't have the heart to give. 
so much money that we can't take care of ourselves in our old age as we grow older. So well, you may not live old, you may not live to be old, you may die before you get old. <laughs> you know, not everybody lives to be old. We worry about old age. I agree. <laughs> Okay, Shumat Bhagavatam Kicha, Shoto Pati Kicha, Oshad Manandi.